Yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Big day today. Got a call from Wing Chasers yesterday, and they're like, Bob, do you and the boys want to come out for a crane hunt? This will be uh, my first even try at cranes in Kansas ever. So, big day. Really hoping it goes good. Uh, Cameron said there's like 700 cranes in this feed, which I think there's gonna be about six of us, so it should be perfect. What are you doing? How much? P. Diddy didn't make it? He didn't wake up. Did you go to his house? For like 30 minutes, oh, yeah. You went to his house and he did not wake <laughs> up? No. No, not at all. Called him, texted him, sat there for like 30 minutes. Oh no. Rolled out. Oh no! <laughs> Well, that was a waste of a drive across town for you. Yeah. All right, well, look, we got almond sea salt, almond sea salt. I got you an energy drink. I seen you got me an energy drink, but I'm going to need. Yeah, we got an hour and 15 minute drive. Me and Gerald's going to get on the road. It was supposed to be me, Gerald, and P. Diddy, but P. Diddy done uh, overslept. Jeez. It's hard being a thug. <laughs> you ain't lying, old P. Diddy. Jeez, you're gonna catch a lot of you know what for this one, dude. He needs to. I woke up at two. <laughs> uh, yeah, Gerald had to wake up at two to go get P. Diddy. Dude, he's already starting it. Well, 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 they are getting up. Um, so, Kansas crane hunting. Couple things wanted to uh, tell y'all. Number one, you have to shoot, you cannot shoot 30 minutes early. Uh, number two, yeah, you have to shoot at, at sunrise, which today is 7.49. They're starting to lift off, come right over the spread here. Uh, number three, in Texas, you can use lead shot. In Kansas, you cannot use lead shot. So, here we are, we're set up. How many uh, How many were in here yesterday? Oh, well, probably 700 of them. That's a lot. It's a bunch. I feel like that's just a bunch for here. Sure seems like it this early anyway. Yeah. 700. Yeah, and they're just rolling off in three packs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. The ducks can be pretty good. Nineteen minutes left. Yep. Holy smokes, they're all gonna be gone <laughs> by that time. You guys, uh, you got any open books yet this season that you need filled or what? A couple dates in February. That's about it. That's it. Um, November four, five, six. Ooh, those are good dates. <laughs> Ducks and geese. That's a really good date. November fourth, um, no, fifth, six. November four, five, six, and it's no lodging for that. No one. lodging. So no lodging. Group. Gotcha. Yep. A lot of a lot of you have been asking me if you can book we are like i said we're booked up if you guys want to come to the same area uh with wing chasers do it do it uh they're gonna be booked up here real soon hit them up on uh instagram right here i would do it this is uh your guys' first kansas crane hunt though right for this year for yeah. this year yeah. oh you did them last year a few a few gotcha look at this Well, what are you rocking over there for the ammo situation? You got Black Cloud BB. Big boys. Big boys. Big boys. I uh, I opted to bring the real big boys today. Oh God. <laughs> Three and a half uh, BBs, yeah. Black Cloud. <laughs> Not taking any chances today, boys. Nine minutes, almost there. They come over. Nope, yeah, no if they nope. come over, we are gonna. It is shooting light, boys, right on the dot. We got two coming from the back. Yep, back left. They right. still, they yeah, still coming. Oh. Oh, they're they're gonna decoy. They're gonna decoy. Maybe. Oh, they're gonna land out in the field, aren't they? Too late. Didn't see him. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> there was our bird. 
right over the top of the blind. Do you think they'll respond to a call? That sounds crazy. Oh yeah, coming from the back, back right. Back right. Oh, uh, now right behind us. Oh yeah. Get ready, boys. On your side. Oh yeah. Front left, kill him, guys, kill him. Nice shot. <laughs> boom, boom, he's dead. Two just got up, and those two just got up out of the field. First bird down. Give me the pounds. <laughs> boom. These two are coming. Oh, they're coming. That's what's up. Yeah. <laughs> Using my goose call. <laughs> they still coming? No. They going away? There's a bunch getting up off that field. <laughs> Where's this thing at? I don't even see it. Oh, I see it's behind a decoy. Oh. Well, there we go. Yeah, buddy. Cam, bring him over here. Oh, a Jew. Very much so a Juvie. Show the show the back of him. The color. Oh yeah. Lots of red. Oh god. Yeah. Lots of red. Would have been a booner. I think they're I do I think they're cool. That is a very, very young bird. Very young. That didn't work. Oh. I do not see him. Anybody? Oh. Yeah, behind us. Oh, there they are. Oh, come on, baby. Give us a look. Give us a look. They peace out? Yeah. Oh, no. I remember this now. Texas. To the right real low. Okay. To the right real low. Try it again. I was going to say, I remember this in Texas. A lot of sitting and waiting. Yeah. Oh, come on. Give us a fair look here, would you? <laughs> Bad gum. I knew that was going to happen. I had to go outside the blind and make a call. And look what you did. Got yourself a crane. I actually don't think I hit anything. Oh, really? I missed. They got it. That's a that's a nice one. Not yeah, bad. Yeah, that's a good one. See how it's... Yeah, nice red forehead on him. Show same, the back of him. Same haircut as me. Just a little bit of juvie going on. Not much. <laughs> good looking bird. Good looking bird. It'll eat. Lost him in the sun. Ooh. They coming? Oh, there they are. Come on. Oh, come on, get in here. It turned them the first time. <sighs> Almost had them. Well, change of plans. Uh, man, that 30 minute rule really kicked our butt. Uh, you gotta shoot at sunrise instead of 30 minutes early. All, almost all of the birds had already lifted off of the roost uh, by the time I think we shot four or five. Four. The boys got permission on the roost. <laughs> so <laughs> that's where we're headed. We're gonna go sit up on the roost and hopefully when they come back we can scratch our limit here.
Well, we're here. When the boys said the roost, I I had in mind a lot more water than that. I did too. I didn't think all we walked out there, there's crane poop and feathers everywhere, so this is <laughs> crazy. You'd think there'd be a lot more water than this, but yeah. Hey. I can't believe all those roosted on yeah. that little bit of water. Check it out. She is a big dry deal here. And uh, that is all the water there. So it looks like we're gonna sit up here, put the A-frames down here, throw some decoys out in front of us. <laughs> and hope it works. Cool, well we are sat up and ready to go finally seeing uh, First Life here. Uh, it's sitting right at, what time is it, 10? 10.30? Right at 10, I think. Right at 10 o'clock. Come on, come on over here. Maybe, maybe baby. Well, we have currently seen four snow geese, good couple groups of specks, and now the cranes are starting to shortstop us and land out in the cattle pasture. Uh, a couple years, a few years back, I went to Grand Island for that Ducks Unlimited crane event, and when you see all the cranes up there, they are literally feeding in pasture grass, prairie grass, tall. Yeah. Um, but they're all starting to get up and head this way. Let's see if we can shoot some. No. Finally got some birds. had to leave. I was walking out, look back and see them coming. Are they gonna come back? Maybe? Maybe. <laughs> and just like that the first the first birds coming decoy. Goodness. Away goes. Well that's our luck. That's our luck. <laughs> He's like yeah. <laughs> well back home as you can tell. Uh sorry for the short hunt guys. Uh, it is what it is. Um, kind of stinks. I didn't even get to pull the trigger, but that's okay. I filmed everybody else shooting. Um, I actually had to get out of the blind, like I said, and take a phone call. Uh, yeah, I got to do what you got to do, but that was pretty frustrating, to say the least. Uh, but I always like to come back home. I'm going to show you guys something here in a minute. Uh, I always like to come back home and recap the hunts. Now, this was a much different hunt than usual. Uh, first ever crane hunt in Kansas. Number one, I want to touch on one thing. Uh, you can't just go out and crane hunt if you find them. You can't do that. Number one, in Kansas, uh, there is a zone. One zone in particular out west, western Kansas, that allows crane hunting. Uh, number two, you have to have a crane certificate. So you have to take a test and get the certificate and it's for identification purposes. Um, long story short, they don't want you to shoot a whooper. Whooping cranes, very, 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 very protected. They're big, really big, and they're really, really white. They're uh, just as white as a snow goose, but huge, like a, like a swan, but a crane. And it makes you take the test for identification purposes. That's why you can shoot at sunrise and not 30 minutes before sunrise, like regular waterfowl hunting. Just wanted to clarify that. Uh, so, if you're thinking about hunting cranes in your state, make sure you do your research before you go and kill them. You have to be very, very legal. Uh, and then in Kansas, you have to obtain a, a crane permit, which is like $7.50. So, uh, not a lot of hoops to jump through. You just have to know where you're at and where's legal and, and everything. They're very protected. Wanted to get that out there. As far as the hunt goes, that sunrise deal, yeah, we would have had our limit uh, prior to to that within that first 30 minutes. But again, you wouldn't have been able to really identify them really good. You know what I mean? Because they're going to be silhouetted a lot of times against the sun. We were looking into the sun that day. So um, we sat up on the roost and 
cranes don't come back to roost right after the morning feed like ducks and geese. They stay out all day and they just kind of trickle around to different pastures and weird fields, not just crops, weird fields, like a lot of pasture, uh, cattle, not even really worried about water. So uh, luckily that group came back right as I was leaving and I was able to capture it. So crane hunting, it reminded me down in Texas when I did it a couple years ago, it's a lot of sitting and waiting and uh, just taking what you can get, making good shots. That's why I took the three and a half. So I didn't want to, didn't want to chance it. Those are big birds, pretty tough. I've heard that they're easy to, you know, to get down, but that's why I rocked the three and a half, but didn't pull the trigger. That's okay. In other news, me and P Diddy are headed to South Dakota next week to head up to Flatland Flyways with my boy Alex Russo and all of the guys up there. Uh, invited us up for three days of hunting. Sounds like it's gonna be amazing. Sounds like they're loaded down with mallards. So, field mallard hunts, water mallard hunts, lots of field mallard hunts are headed your way next week. Uh, by the time those videos will go up, it'll probably be Sunday. So not this Sunday, but next Sunday. You get the point. Uh, another deal that I wanna tell you guys about. Um, I have a Foul Friday going up. Yeah, you guys have been asking for a Foul Friday for a long time. And it's about the lodge, the updates, but the beginning of the video, we go over all of the calls that I love to blow. First off, we blow them all. I show them all to you, which a lot of them are the new ducks calls. You guys have been asking about them. And then number two, you guys have been wanting to see all the new mounts, all of my snow geese that I mounted up in here. We go over all of my new taxidermy, show you everything, explain everything, and uh, it's beautiful. So I believe next Friday there will be a foul Friday over duck and goose calling the calls I like, and all the taxidermy in the lodge. So don't miss that one. And, and want to tell you guys, over at the podcast, guys, we are giving away, we're giving away a Sandhill hunt here. Not Sandhill Cranes, Sandhill Flyways, um, a, a conservation snow goose hunt for two lucky winners. If you want to get in on that giveaway, you got to join the podcast, guys. The podcast is popping off it's getting ready to really pop off now that guide season is almost here in a couple weeks it'll get crazy we have a lot of good episodes on there over there i can be myself i can talk about subjects sticky subjects that i don't want to talk about here um a lot of things that i just can't talk about we talk about over there and bobby can be himself and i'm a little loose-lipped and we have some beverages and do guy things right here so if you're interested in joining the podcast, there's a lot of benefits that go with it. We will be giving away a Kansas turkey hunt as well uh, for this coming spring. So there's two hunt giveaways going on right now over there. But I wanna thank you guys for being here. Without you guys, my dreams wouldn't be coming true and I wouldn't have something to do that I loved every day. So I really wanna thank you guys for that. I've had a lot of, of people ask, hey Bobby, I wanna get into guiding. What do I need to do? Hey, Bobby, I want to start a YouTube channel and, you know, have a career like yours. What do I need to do? Guys, 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 I can't tell you. I can't give you all of the steps along the way. I can't be your daddy. What I can do is tell you go after it. Go after it. By yourself. Into the dark. Jump off the cliff. You will not regret it. When you, uh, when you succeed, um, it feels good. Uh, changes feel scary. But then with success, all those scary feelings become normal. So, and then you get addicted to chasing the, uh, those feelings again, but hope that made sense. I know, I know, Fred. He's so ready to go hunting. Not long, buddy. We'll be guiding clients. You'll be tired every day. Uh-huh, look at him. He's a good boy. Yeah, look at that tail. You couldn't stop it if you tried. But I'm done blabbing. Uh, the guide videos are getting ready to fire up. You guys love guide season. Uh, brings a lot of entertainment. Always someone coming and going. Always someone new. Chasing the biggest feeds. The biggest hunts possible. And you guys will be right along with us. So don't miss that. A lot coming down the pipe. Thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you have not. If you want to help me, smash the thumbs up button. It's not that hard. It takes two seconds. Be safe out there, guys. Be safe. Get out there. Take someone new. Duck hunting. Just do it. Get out there and try it. But until next time.